Friday. Well, guess what guys? Most of you know that most of my subscribers are mostly all women with the exception of a handful of men. And so I know that when your significant others probably hear you listening to decorating videos, they probably cringe, don't they? I mean, let's be honest, they probably cringe. Like, ugh, decorating again? Well, today's video is gonna be a little different. It won't be as cringeworthy because this one is for them. We're talking technology and how to create a home theater on a budget in your very own home. So if that sounds like fun, let's get into the video. All right, so if you are big time movie buffs and you like to go to the theater, say once or twice a month with your family of four or more, that adds up real fast. It could add up to, up to upwards of $3,000 by the end of the year. So if I can show you how to create your own home theater in the comfort of your own home, and you can sit back and watch a movie in your pajamas, pop your own popcorn, get your drinks that don't cost eight or nine dollars a pop, wouldn't you do it? Wouldn't you? Okay, so you guys know we have moved around a lot and we have literally built six movie theaters and six different homes. And in our last house, we actually had Best Buy come out or Magnolia or whatever. And we had them, they walked us through what it was gonna cost to do a, a home theater. It was $11,000. And the second that gentleman walked out of the house, I said, we're not doing that. We're not doing it. We can do it ourselves. And we did. All right, guys. So I'm going to do two options for you because I know there were several of you that are considering doing a home theater in your homes. So I'm going to do a low budget version and a high end version like we have here. I will have everything linked in my Amazon store in the description box below. So if you're interested, check it out because you can look at the products, look at the specifications and make it work for your space, your family, whatever your needs are. Um, but this is how we did it. And it was so simple, you guys. So super simple and very inexpensive. All right, guys, I'm gonna take you down off the tripod and I'm gonna spin you around and show you what we've done. And when, some people may look at what we've done. They're going to go like, that's not high end. Our speakers, our subwoofers, our audio equipment, that is high end. And our projector, those are high end. But I'm going to show you how to do this on the cheap because you don't need home theater seats. You just need a very comfortable sectional and it actually works better for families. Trust me, we've, we've done the movie theater seats. They're not as comfortable as you think and you can't, You'd have to buy a whole slew of them if you have friends and family come over and you all want to watch a movie. So the way we've done it is much more cost effective and it really works. Now there are things that I still want to do in this theater. Like we want to, we want to amp up behind me with like trim and molding. We've got some windows, window issues right here that we're going to be dealing with. But as far as having the theater screen set up or projector where we can sit down and watch movies, it is good to go. It is good to go. So I'm going to show you that. I'm going to show you lighting effects. Um, I'm going to show you our sectional, Ashley Furniture. And uh, I'll show you the speakers, the projector, and how we rig this whole thing up ourselves. So depending on what kind of theater system you're setting up, you can either go big or go home and get... Um, a pair of big speakers. These are SVS speakers. They have the subwoofer built in on the side. They are amazing speakers. And we always look for, you know, the most bang for your buck. And these are amazing and they're $2,000 a pair. Or if you have a smaller room and a smaller space, you can go with a smaller speaker. These are awesome. These are in my kitchen and I can hook up to these wirelessly and play my music and it sounds amazing. Believe it or not, they're as small as they are, they sound really good. And we're gonna be recommending Logitech um, small speakers for your home theater system. Now over here, we've got a subwoofer. No, not a subwoofer, a center channel, center channel right there. And then we've got this huge subwoofer right here. And um, how much is that? $2,000. This is about $2,000, and this is about $700. And the screen is around 
the screen it, it 200, was about 200 for a hundred inch screen. All right, so my husband did something very creative because because of the way our room is set up, it was getting very difficult to figure out where we were gonna place the projector because we have like, is this a soffit? Mm -hmm. We have like two soffits in the way. So he had to get creative and he actually built the projector into the soffit. All right guys, so here you see our sectional setup for movie watching. And then if you come up here, we've got this soffit right here and he decided to kind of build it in. Now we haven't trimmed it out yet. We're gonna do that, but he simply placed it in there and then we ran the wire through the soffit over here and down into my storage room, my decorating room. Now I'm gonna take you in there and show you where it's all wired to. All right, so you can see the soffit here and it goes all the way in here into my storage room. Okay, so when you come into the st storage room, um, you can see equipment right here and the wires feed up right through there where the soffit goes. Okay, so we're not gonna recommend all this equipment. You don't need all of this, but what you do need is a receiver and to power the speakers. And then right here we have an Apple TV so that we can stream movies. So you can use a Amazon Fire Stick, um, player. DVD player, your Hulu, your Netflix, that kind of stuff. And you are good to go. So really, this is a Marantz receiver and um, Apple TV. Those are the two things we would recommend. Um, and then you just wire it to your projector and you, you're good to go. All right, so now moving over here, we have a speaker here and a speaker way over there. And, and then you saw the speakers over there. These, they do not make anymore. These are awesome. So we're not gonna recommend those, like I said, because they don't make them anymore. But what we would recommend is two SVS wall-mounted speakers that are about $400 a pair. So you'd have one there and one there. So you have sound behind you. And this is considered a 5.1 system because you have one, two, three, four, five, and then a subwoofer. So it's 5.1, five speakers with a subwoofer. Now also to, depending on what you're looking for, you can, you can add more speakers if you want. We actually have two subwoofers. So we've got one there and one there um, because when we watch a movie, it literally sounds like you're in a movie theater. All right, so I'm also gonna have an Amazon DIY, do-it-yourself tool store things that you will need to do this yourself. But basically these are both for fishing wires through the wall. And without these, it makes it so difficult. This makes it a lot easier because you're gonna need to run your wires, wires and speaker cables to your speaker somehow. And if you don't want them showing, you're gonna have to fish it through the wall, unfortunately. All right, so we had a little bit of a more complex situation because this is like, this isn't a dedicated theater room. It's just a big open basement space. So again, we had two soffits and we had two rear speakers. And so we had to go through the back soffit and you have to cut little holes in the, in the, in the wall or the ceiling and fish the wire to wherever your receiver or your speakers, speakers are gonna go. And I'm gonna take you down and show you how easy it is if you don't wanna patch and putty and sand and repaint. We haven't put our plates on yet, but I'll show you what you need to do. All right, so right here, it was easy to get the wire through the wall because we have a mechanical room right here, so he could just fish it right through and everything was right there. But then coming over here, we had a hard time and had to go up and then over through the soffit, you know, right there, right there, and right there um, to get it where we needed it to go. And you can see, we just put a plate right there and boom, bada, bang, you're done. We need to put a white plate on there. We haven't done that yet, um, but that's a simple, quick, easy fix, or you can opt to um, use drywall, patch putty, and paint. 
Okay, so here you see the screen. And by the way, if you guys like those letters, I got those at, of course, Hobby Lobby and just put them up there. Um, these are two windows and when we had the deck built, it got really dark in here. So anyway, this was a, another problem in itself. We're probably gonna drywall over these windows and then just drop curtains. Um, we're still thinking about what we wanna do. Um, but let me show you some lighting options. All right, so you guys may remember the LED lighting that I got for my daughter's room. I have a video on that. I'm gonna link those LED lights in my Amazon store, but you can see we ran them all the way around the perimeter of the screen and then show them the colors you can choose. And you can go light, dark, you can fade it out. You can make it super light or super bright. And it really is a fun way to, you know, watch a movie and it's easier on your eyes and kids love it too. And then it comes with this remote. You get all those different colors. You can fade it out. Like I said, it's awesome. So um, let me shut the lights off so you can see what it looks like. So here it is sort of with the lights off. I do have a little light right there on. Um, but anyway, like I said, you can change the colors and it's, it's just fun. It's fun. So just so you guys know, you can actually use your phone as your remote to, you know, play your movies. It's awesome. So if you have an Apple TV and an, and an Apple iPhone, you can actually use your phone to locate the movies and then play them right from your phone. So if you guys have Apple TV, you can get movies, you can get your photos, you can get your Prime Video, Discovery, History, Stars, YouTube. You can get a lot of different things here and uh, it just makes it so much easier. So guys, here's an example of how, of the color clarity and the pictures, just amazing. Okay, do any of you remember Downton Abbey? If you guys haven't seen that series, you gotta watch it, but it's really good. Anyway, I, I don't wanna get copyrighted or anything, but I'm gonna do like a three second clip of Downton Abbey on here with the music loud. And just so you guys know, Amazon Prime Day is coming up July, I think 15th and 16th and they're gonna have huge sales. So if you guys are looking to, to do a home theater, definitely, make, you might wanna hold off till that time, but check it out. And like I said, I'm gonna link everything in the description box below. Everything you need to know to help you out to get up and running quick. So you can literally build your own home theater for under $1,000, wouldn't you do it? So you could watch your movies, your sports, whatever you may, in the comfort of your own home. So check it out, be on the lookout for that. And um, just remember, if you wanna do a home theater, if you have an extra bedroom you're not using, you could do it in there. Get yourself a little sofa sectional, throw the you know, screen on one of the walls, put the projector on, you could put a projector on top of a bookcase if you wanted to and have it project across the room to your screen. Sky's the limit, there's so many options. And just so you know, my husband is an audiophile sort of geek, in a good way. But he researches his stuff to the nines, he gets the most bang for your buck with amazing quality, he looks for the best reviews, so you can rest assured that anything I put in that description box is gonna be top notch, it's gonna be great. So, like I said, from a lower end budget to a little bit higher. So, uh, you know, check it out, check it out. All right, guys, have a great weekend. I hope you enjoyed the video and um, I'll see you Monday. Bye guys. By the way, guys, I forgot to mention, this is an Ashley Furniture sectional. They have this one there all the time, but look how many people you can sit on it comfortably. And, oh, I wanna show you one other thing. This is awesome. This comes off and you can flip it and you can flip it and put it back on here.
put your drinks, your pizza, all that stuff on there. Um, so that makes it really nice for family viewing, family food, and family fun. You know what? I think I'm going to go pop some popcorn, kick my feet up, and watch some old Downton Abbey. Good old Downton Abbey. Love that show.